Hello everyone, uh, this is Paul McGuire here. Uh, I'm one of the instructors for 3151 uh, in section F and FF with Trista. And I'm giving you here an overview of what we've done with Brightspace for this year. Uh, you're all familiar, of course, with Brightspace. We're really relying on it a lot more this year than last year because we need to have a good online platform where we can house everything. So I'm going to go through how we've organized it, how we've simplified it. And if you have any questions, please get in touch with us. Uh, anything that's confusing in here, anything that we should be fixing, uh, that's important for us to know so we can get right on it. So some basic um, stuff on the construction of the site. Um, on your left, you'll see uh, the, what's available to you right now. There's an overview, uh, course schedule, table of contents contains everything that we've done so far, uh, how we're doing communications, uh, a little note on Brightspace on uh, if you need to uh, figure out more stuff on Brightspace, there's some links for some webinars on, on Brightspace and also there's a link to Pulse which is the um, the app you can put on your phone so you get your notifications right on your phone from Brightspace. Then there's module zero, which is like basically an introductory module and it contains all the stuff that Tracy uh, presented on the 27th at the town hall, plus other information, including a checklist of the material uh, that we want you to look over before uh, we get started uh, in September. Uh, there are two cohorts in 3151, FF, as I mentioned, and H and HH, uh, Linda and Lila are the uh, are the instructors for that those two sections, and um, so that's basically how the 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 outline uh, Brightspace is right now. And then this course resources, which I'll mention briefly. So let's go over this quickly so you can see what we have here. The overview is uh, simply an introduction to the urban cohort year two. What's really important here also is you have the course syllabus. That's one of the things that we want you to go through. It's long. It's about 27 pages. So uh, you need to click on this link and start taking a look at it. We've taken a lot of the content that had been located on Brightspace and we've put it into the syllabus. So you do need to go over that. Um, next, course schedule. We're going to make to we're going to try really hard to update the course schedule on a weekly basis so that you can always go there to see what is going on in the course. And we're, we're putting in links uh, here in the course schedule and in other uh, spots in Brightspace to material that is in Brightspace. We just don't want you to have to go searching around for stuff. We want you to find it quickly. So anytime you can't find something, that means that we probably have to put a link to it in the course. So please let us know and uh, I'll, I'll fix that. So. For uh, your first two weeks, starting August 28th, going to around September 14th, there are a few things we want you to review. Uh, the teacher education guide, the practicum guide, uh, the course syllabus, as I mentioned, and you can submit your letters uh, uh, of introduction to your associate teacher. Uh, now, this is a post on Brightspace. This is how you're going to do it. We Here's uh, an example where we put links into other locations on Brightspace. If you are in section F and FF, you would click here, and this will take you to um, your section on on your specific section on Brightspace for people in this in these two sections, and then you can post your letter right here, and then we will see it. Okay, and obviously for H and HH, you uh, that the link there will will bring you to. Uh, where you need to post your letters. So going back, um, let's go through, that's the course schedule. So again, that's going to, that only has one week, of, or basically 10 days of material right now. That's all we want you to see at this point. You, need it, you don't need to see any more. Uh, water cool discussion, this is something that was suggested this year that we put up so people can uh, have conversations about anything that they want to, and this is open to both sections. Um, there are some notes here on on basically norms and uh, you know norms for uh, how to do uh, an online discussion. So take a look at those. They come from uh, a phenomenal uh, document that I, I really do suggest everybody take a look at in the next two weeks. Uh, Learning to teach online by 
um, Michelle Hagerman. Um, and you have a link to that document right here. It's a MOOC, a massive online course. Uh, you can um, you can go through the course relatively quickly. It's very, very useful. So this text here comes from there. So, um, and then the discussion forum comes right out of there. Uh, also, communication in the urban communities cohort. Um, this is a section that basically has uh, our contact information, our email addresses, as they are right now, uh, where to find the urban co uh, communities cohort website, uh, where we are on Twitter, and the hashtag that we're going to use this year for urban communities. So that's just a general um, section on communications uh, that will be on Brightspace uh, the entire year. So these are some of these sections like that we're leaving here on Brightspace at, at the top of the course, so you can always go to them. Uh, module zero, that's basically, as I mentioned earlier, the uh, introduction to the course. This is material that Tracy had put up, so it's all there for you to take a look at. Her orientation PowerPoint um, that she showed some of the slides of um, on the 27th, it's there for you to take a look at. This is the other thing that we're going to be doing. Um, for every module that you're working on, there's going to be a checklist so you know very clearly what you need to get in, uh, in in the before the next module starts basically so this has already been mentioned this is exactly the same information that we have in the uh, the course schedule so again if you miss it in the course schedule um, up here you'll find it attached to whatever module we're working on a checklist so it's right there so that's uh, that basically shows what you need to know about Brightspace for now. Um, there's a lot more in Brightspace, but basically we've, we've hidden it at this point because it, it's too much material. The main document I think that you need to be looking at for the next two weeks is the syllabus and make sure you understand things with the course. Anything in there that you don't understand, please get in touch with us so we can clarify. We have a, a good uh, amount of time here. Um, before we meet again where we can kind of answer a lot of your questions and iron out any difficulties. One last section, course resources. There's not a lot of stuff in here, but uh, this section will grow during the year. Any kind of documentation that you need, we want to put it in one spot rather than have it all over the place. So at this point we only have uh, two like sub-modules in here. One of our resources, like your student guide, the teacher education guide, the practicum guide, are all here. You click here, and I'll do that in a second, and the guides will are there, and you can download them. And this is the first um, piece of documentation that will be important for you. This will definitely grow as, as the semester goes on, oh, the OTF advisory on social media. So just click here on the first sub, these are basically sub-modules inside of Brightspace. And here are links to the student guide, teacher education guide, and the practicum guide. We may add some more information below here, but right now these are the links to those uh, three documents. You click on them, and the document quickly comes up as a PDF. And obviously right here, if you want to, you can download that. So that's about it. Um, we hope that, that Brightspace uh, becomes available to you um, today. This is Saturday. And uh, again, please get back to us with any questions, anything you need clarified, uh, so that we can get started uh, off on the right foot. That's it for today. I hope you find this useful, and um, have a great weekend.